So what is meant by when we say a positive or a negative frequency? And usually this is more like the attitude, the emotion, or the energy someone is uh, emanating. So in negative frequency, we might say, oh, they're just complaining, grumbling, they're down, or they just have a negative tone. Uh, with a positive frequency, we say they're upbeat, they're encouraging, they're charismatic. Um, and again, um, this doesn't necessarily have to be like this, oh, you're good if it's up and you're bad if it's down. Um, it's all, it's not static. <clears throat> Um, we weren't created to just be this all the time. <laughs> and so I'm grateful for a variety of expressions of emotion that uh, we have available to us. I do think there's distinction between kingdom and natural, and that's really what we're going to be focusing on today. Um, but just to give a little illustration of this, um, we had... Um, a group of people who came to our house a while back and they were teaching some p particular teachings that Gil and I weren't fully in agreement on, but absolutely lovely and amazing people. And particularly this one guy, I just, I just love him. You know, there was just something so charismatic and beautiful. And when he would express his passion for this doctrine, you know, it was like, wow, almost, you know, you persuade me just by your positive energy that he carried around it. And so then, you know, later on through the weekend, um, you know, we got down to just kind of discussing the nuts and bolts of why he believed what he believed, because I still, it wasn't settled in me as this is truth for me. And so I just, I wanted to understand why he thought that way or believed that way. And so we got into this discussion and I won't go into all the details, um, but it was kind of interesting because his wife popped in at one point and she, um, he was like, oh honey, why don't you share? Now I would say they were almost the opposites the whole weekend is he was just this charismatic, upbeat, everything's wonderful and everything is great. And she just felt like she was down and depressed and angry and bitter, you know, just honest about it. And um, so she came in and she began to say, you know, basically, I don't, I don't believe what you're saying. <laughs> you know, uh, the reality of our lives is we struggle with a lot of hard stuff. And they shared, you know, candidly, some of their experiences of brokenness. And it was like his whole demeanor absolutely changed into this sad and depressed person. And so it's not that um, he is always charismatic and all of that. Sometimes that can be our presenter person, what we you know present to those around us when we're in public. Um, for me, that was the good girl and the strong girl is I had to present myself perfect. And I would have never told you the story that I shared in the beginning that I had nothing to share this morning until God gave it, because that would be admitting that I'm not super spiritual <laughs> and uh, I'm OK admitting I am not super spiritual. <laughs> I don't want you to put me up on a pedestal. And so it because of this thing with our presenter portions, what we think we need to present to other people is we can put on a high energy, positive energy front, but it may not be the real us, or it may not be what we carry the whole time. Um, you know, this husband and wife the next morning got into a huge knockdown drag out argument. Um, I don't think they realized that their room was underneath my room and I could hear, you know, the screaming and the fighting and the cussing and all of that. Um, and it's no condemnation to them. That's just where they're at. But the point I'm wanting to express is we want to learn how to be genuinely who we are in all settings and not just put up people on this pedestal. Like if I hadn't seen those other things, 
um, unconsciously in my mind, I would have thought, man, this guy's got the greatest life. He's walking out the perfect love of God in his belief system and all of those kinds of things, which um, I know that that is the desire of his heart, but his practice isn't fully that. And so we can label people no, by, sorry. yeah, we can label people by what we're seeing in the moment, <clears throat> uh, but it may not be their true self along the whole way pathway. And again, no judgment, no condemnation in that.